so we came in and got blood work done. Kian, obvious. Oh, Kian. Spread your cheeks. Kian. Oh my God. Look at you, you're such a good dad already. Such a good pirate dad. We're just parenting over here, it's no big deal. I think that he's coming very, very soon. doctor's office today and I'm getting tracked which I don't know what that means but I'm curious if you're it, gonna have to run track I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see if like you're on the right track no but like if I if I'm close to some I don't know Ooh, if you're dilation maybe if I'm dilated or something I actually came in today because I was a little nervous I I've, I've been really itchy on my stomach and my feet there could be a liver issue with that I don't know so we came in and got blood work done Kian obvious Ugh. Kian. Spread your cheeks. Kian. Oh my God. If she comes in here, what are you gonna do? Hold oh yeah, break. lately my Hold job is taking pictures for Kian's Snapchat. No, I take pictures of you for my, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, why does his finger look so freaking long? <laughs> Ew. No, I'm ready. He wants I it now. So ready. Yeah. Kian, we're gonna have a baby soon. <laughs> like, now it's go time. <laughs> I'm in a hospital room. We're not having the baby yet. We are doing a monitoring test because NST. a what? NST. An NST. Non-stress test. A non-stress test. I don't know why, but it just feels so insane to be in the hospital right now. Like, I don't know. It's kind of giving me like, I'm trying not to like have little moments of panic, but like, it's not even like I'm panicked. Like I'm worried about giving birth. I'm just like, I don't know. You talk about going to the hospital, you talk about giving birth and all these things. And then like the day comes or like the week is, it's just close and you're like, whoa. <sighs> Uh, so we're supposed to be here for an hour. Plans have changed this morning. Hopefully this test goes good. And then we have to come back in two days. Kian's here, obviously. Kian and I are going to get our doctor a present right now. We absolutely love her and we're obsessed with her and we feel like we wouldn't have an easy pregnancy if it wasn't for how amazing she is. I shouldn't be driving. Yeah, you are filming. <laughs> Two here for uh, for me. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Okay, I think we found the necklace we want to get our doctor. Why do you keep saying our doctor? Dr. Amerisi, put some respect on her name. Sorry, Dr. Amerisi. And uh, he's just checking for a new one right now, but it's really cute. I want to show you guys. Very cute. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, what do we think? That's the one. Kids just pick zits over here. It's not zits, it's called blackheads, right? <laughs> Google it. Back at baby list and I have no idea what Kian's doing. He's clearly practicing for being a dad. Okay, so this is how we put together the car seat. Yeah, so there's a button in the front. Okay. That you rotate and then there's another button you have to pull up here. Mm -hmm. And you lift this off. Okay. You pull up. Okay. Then you have to take your seat belt. Go across here. But it's supposed to tighten and then when this is secure properly, this is supposed to turn green, but it's not gonna turn green for us because ours isn't technically secure properly. Is that just because this is like a fake car yes. or, oh, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> and then you put that back. And isn't it, but isn't the car seat supposed to be facing like Initially, yes. a it newborn? Did. Oh, did you get that? <laughs> I think so. It's, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Today we have Kian putting in the car seat, but we took the the notes from Baby List. I feel like you already got it. Look at you. You're such a good dad already. Such a good pirate dad. I'm enjoying a lollipop because I was a good girl at the doctor today. My mouth is blue. We'll see how Kian does and then I'll show you guys after look of what it looks like with the car seat in the car. We're just parenting over here. It's no big deal. Test results came back. They came back in my bile as normal. Yay! Itching is just apparently me getting swollen in my feet and bigger in my stomach. Then you push down and you can hear it. It goes. That. Oh, nice. And that turns it green. Oh, and it's and he's supposed to be like that. I don't know why in my head I thought it was supposed to be more like curved. He'll be tiny. I don't know. Maybe when we go to the doctors, we, we'll see. Like, is this correct? Is yeah, this I'm like... sure they know too. But this is great. That's so great. I'm so proud of you. High five. 
It still seems kind of loose, but it's good. No, you did a great job. It is almost 8 a.m. in the morning, and I'm headed to a hair appointment because I was thinking to myself, baby is coming basically this weekend. We are scheduled to go in either this weekend or next week. When I say scheduled, it's like my doctors like let the hospital know that I might be coming in this weekend or next week. Kian really wants the baby to be born on 1010. I honestly want this baby out now. My sleeping is so bad. Bad, guys like I know I've complained about it before but like it just gets worse and worse last night I was cramping so much I genuinely was like I should probably cancel my appointment today cuz like I might have this baby ASAP obviously nothing happened it's just the freaking Braxton Hicks which is so annoying I'm trying to get this last little bit of my own personal stuff done get my hair done I have one more appointment today for uh, taxes and stuff and then I'm not leaving my house until this baby is born Okay, I'm with Jasper, <laughs> and he's gonna put me through a light training today. Yeah, yeah, some free labor stretches. You know what's funny is we were just talking. Jasper's always like, "Yeah, don't come in close to your due date because yeah. I don't want I don't anything want to, to happen." That. And then today I'm like, "Dude, I might have a water break today." It might. I don't it want to deal with that. I'm if it happens, then Jasper's out of here. I gotta call the ambulance myself. Okay, but today we're gonna do some light stretches. A prenatal, it's like a workout or just a stretch? It's just light movements just to get you going, get the blood flowing. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what we do if anyone cares so you can follow along, but yeah. gonna be my last video for the vlog we are 39 weeks I think that he's coming very very soon I never even showed you guys my hair but this is my hair after I got it done it's just a little bit blonder it's kind of just all like blended through which is nice you guys saw on the vlog on the family channel our bedroom for the baby but let's just go look at it again why not oh my goodness this is just the cutest room ever genuinely makes me happy being in here I don't know this whole process is just so surreal because I'm like taking in the last bit of moments just by myself in this room in this house with my dogs with Kian and like it's really hard to explain the feeling I feel like it's almost like when you find out you're pregnant like you go through every single emotion and you're just waiting for this new human to kind of enter in your life and then that new human is in your life forever like even when he grows up and he's older and he's moved out, he's still in my life forever. It's funny because Kian's mom was over and she was telling him, you know, like there's moments in your life when you're looking at your child and you realize, I don't even remember my life without you. Nowhere in comparison, but I feel that with my dogs sometimes. Like I don't even know my life before Moomer or Honey and like now with Hazel, like, and it's so much better. Like I prefer my life with them over anything. It's just gonna be so crazy, but we're in the room. I wanna show you guys really quick too because obviously he's not gonna be in here very often. He's gonna be in our room. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I've done with our room. Okay, so I don't know if I showed you guys this on the vlog before. Kian had to be the center of attention real quick. I'm not the center, I'm on the right over here. This actually, if you guys saw my TikTok, I built this a while ago. My brother came in and added these drawers, which is so nice. We put this little lining here, which is cute. And this is gonna be nice because obviously the baby will be in our room most of the time for the first like couple months. We have a little heater for him. This is a bottle heater. This is a purifier. And it also has like a cute light too. My dad also came over. Oh, here's the bassinet. I really hate how it doesn't touch the bed. That's probably like the most annoying part, but we do have a low bed, so. But this goes down, which is nice. This is like a little nightlight slash sound machine. My dad came over actually and fixed this for us because we didn't have a dimmer. But now this will be nice because I can wake up in the middle of the night with the baby and not have to turn on like all these bright lights. How are you doing? I'm ready. Nervous, but I'm ready. Also, my sister is here just in case any, you know, anything happens sudden. <laughs> She's here. Oh my goodness. And honey bunny, you're no longer going to be the baby. 
no longer gonna be the baby anymore. Okay, that's it. I'm ending this vlog. The next one you're gonna see is our birth vlog. Thank you guys for following along on this journey with me. It's been an amazing experience and time. I've honestly felt so comforted and supported by all of you. I've met so many new moms in the industry and out of the industry. You guys just messaging me, supporting me. Some of you are on this journey with me. You're like a few weeks ahead of me or behind me. I'm just so grateful and I love you all and I'm so excited to meet this boy. <sighs> gonna change my life so I'm so excited and I'll see you guys soon wish me luck bye